This video shows how to create a 32 kilometer by 32 kilometer, one meter large open world landscape in Unreal Engine 5 using real world elevation data. You will require a copy of TerraSculptor, Unreal Engine 5, and a computer system with at least 64 gigabytes of memory. This method uses an option on the importer which may affect landscape use. I have not tested all features exhaustively. The first step is to obtain the real world elevation data. There are many sources for real world elevation data, including Earth Explorer and similar sites online. We will be using the built in mapper Dem Explorer in TerraSculptor 3. So launch TerraSculptor 3. If you've not already set TerraSculptor's world units to match Unreal Engine 5, then do so now. Click on the Tools menu and choose Settings. On the Units tab, choose the Unreal Engine 5 preset and restart the editor. Now to continue. Create a base height map of any size, such as 1024 by 1024. This height map will be replaced with the real world height map during the mapper download. On the Create menu, choose the Mapper item. Choose Mount Shasta, California from the bookmarks. If you don't have the standard bookmarks, you can download them from the TerraSculptor Free Assets Drive. The link is on the Help menu. You can also simply go to zoom level 11 and then latitude 41.51 and longitude minus 122.34. The mapper tool downloads dem data that is 3 meter spacing. So we want a selection that is 12288 by 12288. Zoom level 11 happens to give us this size. Download the height map elevation data. This will take a few minutes. Select the Terrain Properties panel, click on the File Scale button, make sure there are no warnings, and cancel the dialog. Click on the Geoscale button, enable the Set Spacing Y option. This will now show the Y spacing value that is also entered into Unreal Engine Scale Z import. Resample the height map to 300%, which is a size of 36864 by 36864. This gives us the equivalent of 1 meter data. Crop the height map to 32641 by 32641 based on the top left corner. Normalize the height map. Export the terrain to PNG 16 bit grayscale using the PNG new file filter. Launch Unreal Engine 5.3. That is the version that I am using for this tutorial. Create a new project if you require one. I am going to use an existing test project for this demonstration. In the project, create a new level and choose the Open World template.
select all of the landscape streaming proxy actors in the inspector and delete them. Then select the landscape actor and delete it. Save the level as map 32 kilometer or whatever name you prefer. On the selection drop-down, choose the landscape item. Choose Import from File. Uncheck the Enable Edit Layers option. Note that removing this option means that non-destructive editing and splines won't work on the landscape. But we must disable this option in order to get a landscape importer that is larger than 16K. The maximum landscape size with this option off is 32K. Click on the Height Map File Browse button and select the height map we just exported from TerraSculptor. Optionally set the material to an auto material or other material that you have for the landscape. Set the scale Z to 732, which is the value that we found in TerraSculptor for spacing Y. After a few moments the height map will show. If it gets to the region building in 5.3, then the import was successful. If you do not have sufficient memory in your computer, you may experience an Unreal Engine crash with a T-Array error dialog. Save the level. Select a region in the minimap and load it. Enjoy your large open world landscape with real world elevation data.